Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mantalk.ke. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, we're very, very excited about this topic and even more excited about the guest. As you can see, we're here in Kofisi on Riverside Drive, Keystone Park. This is the knowledge room. It's a beautiful, beautiful place where you can come. If you're an individual or if you're a company, you can book an office space. If, as an individual, you can use the co-working area. It's a glorious, glorious space. So thank, thank you, Kofisi, for being our location sponsors for such a long period of time. You're lifesavers and we love you very much. It's Christmas, I'm saying love. I'm just throwing the word love out. That's, mm, that's, yeah. that's why, that's why, that's First why. First of all, I'd like to wish all of our fans, mm -hmm. everyone, mm -hmm. Merry Christmas Aww. and a happy holiday. Aww. Now, in the spirit of Christmas, we've brought you the ultimate gift, <laughs> which is the sweetest sweet boy of them all. Come on. Victor Minor, mm -hmm. photographer, mm -hmm. videographer, mm -hmm. and all round ladies man. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that last part is... Uh... Yeah. Is it debatable? Well, it's because, I hope is, you mean that because I grew up with a lot of sisters, you know. Oh, that's how you turn a question, uh, right? It's going to yeah, be a good episode. And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, PR yes, trained. Yes, yes, yes. This man is PR trained, as you can tell. <laughs> hey, hey. And today, today, just to introduce the, the topic, today it's about vibes. It's about mm. brothers sitting together and having mm. a conversation about mm. where we are at that life, Victor. Mm. 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 What a life. Mm. Mm. What a life. Mm. Mm. So in true man talk fashion, I will believe, um, I'll begin with the first question. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling, Victor, first of all? <sighs> Hungry. <laughs> this is an honest man. Yeah, it is. This is an honest true. man. Yeah. 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 Were you expecting what? Uh, what were you expecting for food? Pizza? For knowledge. Um, ah. Mm -hmm. ah. First for the... ah. We're going to have fun. This is... Cheers, boys. Cheers, My boys. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. Drink, drink cheers, better, drink, not drink, more. Drink, drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I drink. <laughs> Before you gyrate. Uh, yeah. As you can probably tell after this shoot, we are not going to stay in this <laughs> studio. Amazing. Anyway, amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm feeling good. Uh, I've been looking forward to yeah. having this conversation on camera. Yeah. 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 I know we have lots of conversation off camera. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, intelligent uh, yeah. conversations. Yeah. 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 Uplifting. Uplifting yeah. conversations. <laughs> Tell you Even to the, the heights of balconies, that's how high we're there. So, uh, so, uh, he said, and, he said balcony, if you, Victor. If, if you know, you know. Yeah, so, um, yeah um, I mean, uh, always a vibe, balcony uh, vibes. Um, I like balconies, oh I like, I like the views. He does like the views. Um, um, yeah, middle of the ocean. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Uh. For context, uh, Victor is a dear friend of ours. You've seen a lot of our friends, Georgie, with Timmy, <laughs> Cliff, etc. They've all come on here and shared their story, so we think it was only right. The final, what's mm. it? What's the ring? The thing the guy did? Yeah. Gemstone. The final gemstone. The final gemstone of the friendship group yeah, and of the, the WhatsApp group. Yes, yes. Which yes. we might organize one day to mm. just have like a. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, everyone be really cool. on on set at yeah. the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. What's yeah. so dope? Like I, what I've realized when you have friends is a lot of the time, you can know someone for a long period of time and suddenly they tell you a random fact. Yeah. I remember we're in an Uber and like you just randomly told me a fact once and I was like, huh? I didn't know that about you. So. Because we're kind of introducing you to our community, mm -hmm. we want to understand the context of everything you're going to say. Mm -hmm. So I think the best way always to start is to be like, what kind of child was Victor? How was that upbringing? I remember our, our trip back from Nikaru, uh, when, you, oh. <laughs> when you told me about this, a very interesting <laughs> backstory. And it really narrates why Victor is how he is. I'm going to find out about that. So Victor. Oh, I can't really pick mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. what, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Don't what you exactly know how you say. But, um, you were as a kid, your upbringing. Whew, Victor, interesting. Where, where, were you, yeah. where were you born? Where Let you me yeah. tell you, uh, this is going to shock you. Where are these fantastic uh -huh. scenes from? Uh -huh. I was born mm. in West Pocot. Ooh. Yeah, you didn't expect that, did yeah, you? It's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In sync. I was born in Kapenguria, West Pocot. That's where my mom grew up. So that's where I was born. I am half Kikuyu, half Indian. Mm -hmm. um, from there, moved to Kitale and then Mombasa. So I spent most of my childhood in Mombasa. Went to boarding school in uh, probably class six. Mm. Um, yeah, the longest I've spent at home since then is two weeks. Man. No way. Yeah. yeah. I'm nomad. So <laughs> naturally, I became really good at picking people's characters and just understanding them at their level mm. because I was forced to live with very different people mm. throughout my life. Mm. And it, it helps me in my work because I, I get to understand mm. my clients. And yeah. I just, so what I, is your I work? Yes, for those. Other than, <clears throat> than just being you. Ah, 
Mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean production. So I own a production company. We do a lot of uh, events. Uh, we've done a TVCs this year. We're looking to go bigger next year. Uh, but mainly this year was just to build up on the team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we do event coverage, uh, mostly digital content, uh, real-time turnaround. And then, yeah, from there, we've just been getting more, more, and, pro- more and more projects. We've done a couple of documentaries. Mm-hmm. I've worked with you guys as well. For, yeah, as well. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Of course, of course. Some too. episodes. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. Mm. I mean, I love what I do. Mm. But most importantly, it gives me the ability to give a piece of me mm-hmm. to the world mm-hmm. visually. First of all, Victor, I'm just going to say it, guys. I, I know you're thinking what I'm thinking. Was any of that rehearsed? <laughs> no. At any given point in time. No, no. Victor's no. actually you, deep. Did you, you actually, did you actually reach deep into your soul, Victor? Is I there am... actually behind the goofy mask? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with... Uh, I know I do a lot, lots of dad jokes. Yeah. Though, but... Yeah. Um, I have a uh, profound guy. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how we first met me and Victor? It's how? so crazy. We how? said event coverage, loving what he does. Yeah. That's the truth. It's been consistent since we ever mm. met you, since I met you. So 2019, mm-hmm. my first Insta market. Yeah. Oh. Victor came and he shot and he just sent us the footage. Yeah. And yeah. we milked that video. That video was chopped, changed because it was so good. Every it, event. Yeah, every event. Yeah, like like a th- promo. I think they did it for two or three times. the blue dawn. No, no, the one in uh, in uh, Deja Vu. Yeah, Deja Vu. Ooh. Yeah, that was yeah, the very first yeah, one. Video. one yeah. And yeah. I never actually connected you to the video until much later. Because at the end, it's, you signed off Victor Minor. Yeah. And I always used to be like, oh, it's the Victor Minor video. I used to just call it the Victor Minor video. <laughs> and we hadn't really interacted. No, no. And now, now yeah. years later, we're like, we're just, we're just boys on trips. We're like, that's crazy. That's, how That's also it's funny. Just, yeah. Because I met Victor in the same circumstances when yeah. we were doing the children's home thing mm, um, mm. with Karibang Yautri. Yes. And Victor was there with a camera. And, mm. I was like, and then I was trying to socialize because this was a, a new bunch of people. And then I just had this guy. I'm like, this guy is vibes. Yeah. Who yeah. on earth is this man? Yeah. My boy. My boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, sure. no, that, that was the... Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 If you listen to the like podcast, you leave, leave, leave yeah, there, There's a lot of fist bumps and yeah. handshaking. <laughs> there's cheers and yeah. there's lots of glances. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so, you've always done high quality work. So yeah. And like, thank like you. man, like, um, I'll just, I'll just kind of give you flowers right now, man. Like, one thing about you is that you're that type of person whose personality doesn't change based on circumstances mm. you're like consistently victor because mm. i've 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 sat with you with my seniors and i've listened to you talk to them mm. i've listened to you talk to us mm. i've listened to you we've gone to the beach mm-hmm. we've and victor is just the same we've been in events mm. you're just the same guy mm. throughout which means like there's a very authentic mm. part of you and i feel like that's why and that's one of the reasons I'm so drawn to you as a person, my guy. Mm. So it's all love wow. all the time. Appreciate mm. it, man. Yeah. It kind of links to what he said about moving around when you're younger, yeah. being able to be in any room. Yeah. And like you say, read and figure out. I know what you mean about when yeah. you were shooting with uh, yeah. Kibet, yeah. watching Victor navigate that space. Senior council. Yeah, senior, senior council. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And they were just on the on the golf body, just chatting. Yeah. Like, I was a, it's and, a very good like, skill. And he was saying the same thing. Like, mm. it was like, Victor was just... I'm being like, Victor. I was yeah. like, this guy, like, so mm. I need you to stand here. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, mm. Victor. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, it was, it was such, man. Like, I'm so, like, I'm mm. proud to call you a friend, man. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you, thank you. Of Apple. course, he has a very big head. So the more you inflate it, um, <laughs> it might not fit um, in this shoot. Barely, you might have to edit the size of his head um, as you shoot this. Uh, uh, but I'm very proud of you. I want to follow up with a question now, which is, tell me about secondary school. Victor, because <laughs> that's a very specific question. Oh, mm, yeah, I was in, I was fortunate enough to be in Lanana school. Mm. Um, and funny story, I didn't want to go to Lanana school. So when yeah. I got to my letter, I was like, huh? Mm-hmm. Where is this? Because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go to Mang. Uh, I had, they had an aviation. You didn't you want know, to go to they, Alliance? No, no, okay. I didn't want to go no, to Alliance. No, no, no chance. No, no, no. Which has none whatsoever. Uh, however, um, mm. I have a family that went to Alliance, which is good for them. Shout out. They always remind me. Yeah. It's important <coughs> to it's always be reminded. Like you just did. This had nothing to do with Alliance. It, but I, you just brought it uh, up. Listen, and uh, I understand. Anytime, anytime I hear mm. that none, I just... <laughs> it comes up every episode. Me. Mm. I, maybe, maybe. <laughs> this is your first governor, I believe. Shut up. I have a feeling <laughs> this is your first governor, Victor. Uh, you know, 
No, mm. it's a well, yeah. yeah it's a fantastic Abahan. school. I know. Yeah. Mm. So I I I said, okay, my mom told me, just go. Yeah. Uh we hope you'll get a second letter uh-huh. to go to Mang. Uh-huh. And I went and this school was huge. Yeah. Like Lenana is very big. Mm-hmm. It has no physical fence. Yeah. That's how big the yeah. school is. Yeah. And <clears throat> I went to the rooms and I met the people and I saw the chapel. The mm-hmm. chapel won me. Mm-hmm. Because I was a CU leader huh? in class eight. Mm. Another day for the uh, podcast wait, listeners. Let's drink some water. Well, for the podcast listeners, <coughs> we are now sipping our drinks. There we go. And it's back off the lips. <laughs> so it's safe mm-hmm. to say, mm-hmm. yeah, I've, mm-hmm. I've, I've always had God in my corner. Um, yeah, so I, I went there two weeks, half term. My mom said, okay, do you want to go see if you could get into Mango? I said, hell no. I am happy where I am. I and this is because mm-hmm. we went for a function. <laughs> And uh, <coughs> I actually met some decent young ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I was stoked. Yeah, yeah, I you, was, you were stoked. Uh, my friend. He was, fa- he was uh, Got he was. in, joined drama. They put me in this singing group. I started mm. singing. So, so when we sang on stage, mm-hmm. all the girls were just like, Ooh. Mm. And then after that, I just loved it. Yeah. And uh, um, as, as, slowly... Uh, Fell in love with the school, but mm. it really built a culture of uh, self responsibility. Mm. We just you look out for yourself because the school mm. is run by well that time, uh, it was run by the prefects, so no teachers, so you just self governance really. If you slack, you fail. There's no one to push you. There's no one to you know tell mm. you this is how it should be. So I feel like we had some sort of training in campus. Plus they used to wash our clothes, fold them, iron them. Uh, it's a good life, which was buddy. nice. That's a good line. Yeah. What kind of kid were you in secondary? If you were to <coughs> summarize that man. Performance-wise, academically average. Uh-huh. Co-curricular. Yeah, like I was involved in everything. This guy was mm. chasing, chasing. Yeah. yeah. Chasing. yeah. He, was, he knew why he came to Lenana. Yeah, no, <laughs> so, yeah. I, like, I was like, I'm here. Mm. I'm going to find out how to mm. network. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and I did. And, the transfer and has that... How has that skill served you today, Victor? Please. That skill this. got me into the film industry. Mm-hmm. Um, I was lucky enough. My director in, you know, drama, was uh, Michael Jones. Shout out to him. Uh, he was a film director out here. So when we left high school, most of us, like Pascal Tukodi, um, we got into the film industry with ease, because mm-hmm. we were being trained to act on camera, while in drama before getting out. So when I got out two weeks in, I had my first acting job, I had a lead role. Uh, Africa Magic was doing movies at the time. I'm off movies, so I got a show with Insignia. And yeah. All I got... of these are huge companies, man. Yeah. yeah man. So Insignia Productions, Philip Brayson. Uh, so I went, acted, got my money, and what, I was really what, struggling to... What were you doing with this money, Victor? Huh? What did you do with this money? This money. Mm. You know, every person goes through this stage where you yeah. spend your money terribly mm. and then you respect money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope yeah. Yeah. people will mm. learn to respect money. Mm. But yeah, I went and bought a phone. And I bought a phone for my girlfriend at the time. And then I moved out to Rongai. <laughs> uh, because I needed to be in Nairobi so I could go for auditions. Mm. I just needed to push that dream mm. yeah your dream victor like you've um you've done something that not a lot of people can do mm. which is or say which is they've turned their passion into like business like yeah. you run a company visual masters yes. right how has your journey been because okay school then videography how's that journey been into becoming from like a creative to now an entrepreneur how's that journey been now because i think you've had a fantastic year um this year from what i've seen as being one of your buddies so it's what's been... that journey been like yeah, it's been uh, mm. a lot of failures. Mm. Failure, Victor? Is it yeah. possible? Yeah. <laughs> such a man a lot of failures. Yeah. The most um, interesting man in the world. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I always felt like I could do more. I still feel like I could do more. Mm. And some people mistake it for humility when they tell me, you're doing really great. And I'm like, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, you know, I'm like, not yet. Because in my head, mm. I know... Mm. The mm. goal stays the same, mm. you know. Yeah, there's bigger, yeah. 
that I want to achieve mm. and I'm grateful for mm. the space I am in right now. Mm. I know I have to keep on pushing and I mm. think I never realized I had that feeling mm. until I started, you know, being in spaces where I feel like this shot could be more creative or this could be done more effectively. Mm. But my voice is not being heard because of the position that I am in. Because I started out as a set runner and then I started doing production design. So just prop master, basically, mm. I would be branding, you know, uh, this water bottle that we have here, mm, make mm. it man talk. Yeah. Just the guy who designs and prints stuff. Right. To hide the brandings for, of, mm. you know, when you're filming. And then I started doing production design. So I'd be given a room and I would make it to whatever vibe that would be. So I'd do wallpapers. Mm. And I was, I, I was so in love with what I was doing. If the shoot starts at six, I would spend the whole two days at the location, not go home. Like I've, I've had to suffer to look for paint, like at 3 yeah. a.m. It's yeah. crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's and, crazy. Crazy. yeah. and and that that's part of the journey, you know? I, mm. I used to have this bike, we call it Kisiagi, me and Zul, mm. because it's just a loud power saw engine <laughs> on a bike. Yeah. Um, but it used to get me from point A to B. It's just a <laughs> 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 that guy. For our audience, our international audience, Kisiagi means the grinder. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it, what it sounded like. Oh my God. Yeah, it was a terrible bike, but it got me from point A to B. So imagine running to get supplies at 2 a.m. on yeah. a bike that fails on the road. So yeah. Those are the things. Mm. But every time I had these hurdles, I used to say for the dream, it's going to be better one day. Mm. I'm going to be driving one day. Mm. Mm. I'm going to be sending maybe someone to assist me with this. I'm mm-hmm. going to treat my crew much better than I'm being treated. Because yeah. I've been paid way less for yeah. doing so much. Yeah. And the credit never comes. Mm. <clears throat> and I think that's basically the foundation of Visual Masters. Mm. Every crew member I work with is paid the way I would pay myself for a job. It hurts me, but it helps them believe that we could do this thing together. Mm. And slowly we increase the rate card Mm. and clients committed because the work is showing. Mm. Yeah, I I just feel like it's Mm. been a tough journey, Mm. but I needed to learn Mm. Mm. from being a set runner, production designer, editor, assistant Mm. DOP. Mm. DOP and finally directing. Mm. It's been a beautiful journey, but mm. each step I learned how that person in that role feels. Yeah. So I knew which changes to make when I finally start my mm. own company, mm. and which is something I'm very key on. Yeah. Sometimes people just don't know. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. can't shout at someone for sending an invoice without an invoice number. They they yeah, don't know. No. Yeah, and sit them down. Yeah, talk to them. Show mm. them a sample. Mm. It's the small things like that. Mm. Someone doesn't understand how to give a brief or how to mm. take a brief. Mm. Just tell them this is how it works. Yeah. You know, I feel like our industry grows organically. Mm. You guys are stuck in careers you don't think existed mm. 10 yeah. years ago. It's facts. And you're making good money from it. And I'm very proud of oh, you. Ah, thanks, you know? buddy. Yeah. But there are some things you're learning on the job, every even day, now. Every day. Every day. So if you see someone else, uh, you know, yeah. not getting things that you've been through, you can't shout at them. Mm, exactly. There's no manual. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. create the manual. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we need to make sure, you know, we pass it on. These things should be common knowledge. Yeah. But they're not. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I think I found a lot of challenges where guys would just be like, huh, you don't know what that is? You uh, know, I'm like, yes, I don't know. Mm. I don't mm. care if you judge me now. Yeah. But once you explain it to me now, you right. best believe you're gonna get it. Yeah, I will never struggle mm. with that problem again. So yeah. that's I think it's helped uh, mm. me mm. just getting into the space. Mm. I saw the opportunity in where people lack mm. to give credit to their teams, mm. and I banked on that. Mm. One of the consistent themes is personal skills. That's kind of threading through this whole conversation, yeah. right? And I'd love you to share this with the guys, especially if they're in the creative field, because there's a way that you manage people, people in relationships and your goal is not monetary and you said this once and I was like that's so key you always say like the goal is not to make money now 
we can make money later, but I'm investing in this relationship. So regardless of money comes, I'll be there. But even if it doesn't come, I've still got a fantastic relationship and I'm going to benefit in other ways. So how did you come to that realization and how have you molded um, the skill with like mm. having friendships that can turn into business? Because it's something that I've seen you do time and time again. Yeah. I think we as human beings mm. have needs mm. and those needs blind what we are put here on earth to do sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy for someone to tell you, hey, if that's not the money, then I, I'm not doing this. Mm -hmm. If you're not mm -hmm. paying this, it's cause they're saying that from a point of, they have something they need to pay off. Yeah. yeah. They need to pay rent. Mm. They need to buy mm. Adobe suit. Yeah, yeah. And a friend of mine, Jovan, told me this, try and pay your rent three months in advance, mm. do your monthly shopping, mm. have your food for, have your money for your fuel or whatever, or transport, and then mm. make decisions in that period of time mm -hmm. and see how different your life will be. And I said, ah, okay, let me try. Mm. So I paid my rent in advance. Mm. So slowly I have food, yeah. I have rent. Mm. I don't have needs that need to be catered to immediately so i started turning down jobs mm -hmm. that would pay a certain kind of money and i know it's gonna be stressful i'll just say no and i started taking up jobs that pay less but have value yeah and i understood the power of value mm. talk victor very preach, recently preach, 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 preach. <laughs> like last week i went for a conference i was paid you know by a different client to film a conference, it was a beautiful conference. And then one of my other clients who I should go for, saw me there and they were like, hey, our MD is there. Do you mind sending us photos? I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna keep them in my house. It's fine. You're not the one paying me, but I, like, I got you. I'll yeah. send you, you know, I'll send you the photos. Mm. By the time the conference was done in the evening, I'd gotten a PO for a shoot they have two days from there in Kisumu. Had I been like, if you guys wanted photos, you would have yeah, paid me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes it's good to mm. to to choose value mm. beyond the money. Mm. And you see, if you're creative, and let me just say this, mm. if you're not willing to like die with your art, mm. you should stop. Just find something else to do. Like your art should be everything. Mm. you want to do there are sacrifices that should come with that art mm. so when the success comes you don't forget that mm. sacrifice so it keeps you grounded why are you doing this yeah for me i'm doing this because i feel i have a different eye i've been told this before mm. many times and i'm very happy to hear it from people i really admire and i know i'm not yet there but i'm working my way there mm. because that's what i have different yeah, but I learn a lot from my friends. I learn a lot from, you know, hanging out with guys like you. There's mm. so much wisdom that comes when you just sit mm. down and have conversations. Mm. And uh, we, or let me say me, I'm a photographer and very would understand. Um, this is the one thing God has given you in this earth. Mm. Mm. You must live. You must, sh you must share. Mm. It's like someone stopping me on the street. Hey, do you mind taking a photo? That's why when we went to Watamu, mm. I found it very hard to turn down guys yeah. asking me for, for content because mm. this is my gift to the world. Yeah, man. I get paid for it, mm. yeah. which is a bonus. Yeah. But when I don't have to, I could do it. Like if you stop me and say, could I get a photo? I will mm. start directing you like a whole shoot. I take yeah. it very seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take it very, yeah. like I, I'm in a mall. Someone mm. says, hey, do you mind uh, taking a photo? I'll mm. tell you, let's mm. stand here. There's better lighting. Yeah, that, Someone yeah. else will just flick, flick, give you back your phone. Mm. But for me, I want you to get value. Mm. Because if you go out there and say, Victor took this photo of me at the mall and it looks bad. Mm. No, that's yeah. a piece of me mm. to the world. But yeah, it's I capitalized yeah. on yeah. what I thought was not working in the industry. Mm. And I built on that. Mm. And I think it works for me. Mm. But also, let me mention, I am yeah. single. <laughs> no one There's a reason why. Okay. <laughs> I'm single. I feed myself. Uh -huh. So I can take some, I can make some sacrifices for the bag. Oh, hey, Just okay. for the bigger vision. Uh -huh. And I, I think people who have more responsibilities should mm. be keen on 
uh, making sure those are covered before. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. you, you can apply the same principle, the three months of food. Yeah. Because that sentence you said, don't let need blind you from your purpose. I, that's, that's what yes. you said. Yes. That's so true. The, that's 100% the true. The reason why I'm so quiet, Victor, mm. as you have realized, is because you've taken this commercial to a place mm. that has surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw us off camera, you would not believe we're having this conversation. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I get that a lot. Uh, yeah. 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 And the reason why it has surprised me is I've never sat down with you now that I think about it and actually talked business philosophy. Mm. We've talked a lot of <laughs> about our things, <laughs> but we've never sat down. Yeah. I've, I've always known you to be a deep introspective person who attracts deep introspective people. It has just occurred to me that you have a very deep understanding of the difference between value mm. and money and just cash. Because value is essentially accounting profit. Profit and value are two very separate things. Mm. Yes. Um, and you have such a deep understanding of it and you've integrated your, you've integrated your personality into your career. Mm. Mm. And mm. to be honest, that's why it is always such a pleasure to work with you, to speak to you. And that's why I've said in the beginning, your behavior is consistent. Mm across the board and right mm. now it's when it's hit me it's because you have such a deep understanding of what value is yeah. and for you what value is is sharing and giving to others mm. Mm. hey visual master is going to be a big company yeah. now follow, yeah. following up on that is let's think about zoo you know our boy zoo who's who's um, not with us on camera today um, or on set but how did you meet zoo how did that relationship come about so i met zoo through pascal I think he's been on your show yeah, with yeah. Uh, Lenana. Yeah. You yes. guys had an episode. Um, yeah, because Pascal... So was in high school with you? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, I was in high school with Pascal. Yeah. He, you know, graduated and then me. So he held my hand when I got out of the industry. Oh. Um, Pascal bought a bike. And then Zul and Pascal ended up doing a show together. And, pa and Pascal told Zul about the bike. Zul now is more of a biker than any of us. Mm. And then I used to meet Zul with Pascal, but I told him, yo, when you ever sell this bike, that's that Kisiagi. Before it was Kisiagi. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a very loud bike, Chinese bike. And I told him, if you ever sell this bike, please let me know. Yeah. And he said, cool, cool, cool. One year, two years, mm. three years. He said, oh, yeah. Vic, mm. how are you? I'm good. Are you still interested in the bike? Because I wanted to take it to Meru yeah. for my brother to use on the farm. Yeah. He said, hey, I am very interested in a bike because mm. that time I was staying in Rongai. Yeah. And I think, I don't know if it is how I looked. Mm. I had blonde curly hair, oh. skinny kid. Mm -hmm. mm. Just little beard like Eli. Mm. First and then... <laughs> <laughs> he was just chilling. chilling like oh that's so deep oh, the shots. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Shots, like, <laughs> but yeah um i used to get on the matatus they used to want to overcharge me you know just being picked on and till i became now i had a big head and it just used to be i don't like it it's too complicated mm. when you have to struggle to travel mm. you know mm. and i said i'll get a bike so when Zul told me he's selling his bike, I said, yeah, I want it. I went and checked it out. And this is what he told me. I will never forget to this day. Zul asked me, how much do you want to pay for it? Mm. And I asked him, how much are you selling it? He said, no. How much do you want to pay for it? And I said, 40. Mm. And he said, okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. He said, okay. I said, are you serious? So I asked him, out of curiosity, had I said 20? If yes. I had said 20, would you have said yes? He said, yeah. I was going to give you this bike anyway. I just wanted some value back for it. He didn't know each other? I, have only, I had met the guy four times. We were never close, close. Wow. And I said, wow, mm. thanks, man. So yeah. I paid him. Mm. I had 20, then I looked for the rest. I mm. paid him. And I got the bike. Mm. And I also gave the bike to someone else. Mm. Same principle. How yeah. much do you have? Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. it was crazy. Yeah. Two days. This episode is turning out to be a banger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. yeah. And um, 
And I said, someone who can treat a total stranger like that is mm. someone I should be very close, mm. close to. Mm. Mm. And me and Zoo work together a lot. And sometimes that 40 he makes in a day. Amazing. More than that even. Mm. Yeah. And I'm just, it's, it's nice to see the journey. No, no, mm. no, it's man. beautiful. That's yeah. such a story. <laughs> yeah. That is such a bar mm. story. Yeah. yeah. Guys, I hope, yeah. I hope you're seeing, <laughs> I'm looking at the camera, I hope you had that story. Yeah. Um, because that's a Christmas story. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and all my friends yeah. have that same thing. Everyone I've met. I'll tell you about Rotimi. I met Rotimi that time I was dating someone. This is mm. a very interesting story. <laughs> Eli you wanted me to mention stories. it yeah. in the podcast. So I will for you. Mm. <laughs> and and I got a call. Someone said, hi, Victor, I remember you from uh, university. Could I send you, you know, my client? You can shoot with him. I think your work is good. I said, okay. Mm. So I met Rotimi. He's a Nigerian man. Mm. Very stylish in a suit. Mm. Mm. Says, no problem, we can have a meeting and then we do this. I said, mm -mm. no problem. Mm. So I showed up and Rotimi told me, I want to shoot a YouTube series called Biggest Gainer. I said, Biggest Gainer? I didn't know Biggest Loser. Mm. So he said, no, Biggest Gainer, you add muscle and war. Mm. He did the math for me and he developed his own index. I said, this guy is so smart. Yeah. yeah. And he's studied uh, fitness and anatomy. Yeah, yeah, he did. yeah, yes. yeah, he's sort of a doctor. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. don't know this. Yeah, he's every time I get hurt, I call Rotimi and tell him, Hey, my bone, <laughs> yeah, he's feeling funny. He says, Let me call. Yeah, yeah so Rotimi told me, How much is this thing gonna cost? Mm. I said, Six episodes, no, I think four or five episodes. And he just said, It's me and you. You bring the guys, you host, we shoot, mm. we move. I wanted to hire lapel mics. I didn't have lapel mics at the time. And he told me, you know what we'll do? Uh, you tell me what you need. So I, we did the budget. The budget was higher. I said, I want lapel mics. For him to hire is going to cost him more. I told him, how about you pay me? Just my rate, pay me half. Yeah. I'll buy the lapel mics and then I'll come with them to the shoot so I don't bill you for lapel mics. So he ends up saving mm. and I get to have lapel mm. mics for the show that we are doing. Mm. And from that moment, we started a give mm. and take relationship. Mm. And he told me, I'll pay you. I don't have this money now, but I'll pay you. And Rotemi just believed in me, man. Mm. And he sent me the money. Mm. He used to meet once a week. We shoot. I ate it the same week. And that money helped me go to Bali. But yeah, yeah back yeah. to how, <laughs> when I saw Rotimi, yeah. he was this fit guy. And I told my girlfriend, you I'm going to meet this guy. My girlfriend at the time. And she says, oh, look at his back. Because he had posted videos of him working out. Mm. So she just spends time on the, on the whole thing for <laughs> long. Scary. I even forgot. I said, hey, what are you looking at? She said, this man is gorgeous. <laughs> I said, bring my phone. <laughs> so when I met Rotimi, I was so mad. I was like, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> but I like, we can work together. Yeah. But I... I was like, two guy. <laughs> it's actually crazy. But yeah, so so he, he believed in me and we shot that whole thing. Mm. Same thing as Georgie. When he was in Rwanda, I sent him a message in the DM and I told him, how do I apply for these things? He even forgot. I was reminding him the other day in the car. Mm. And I told him, Georgie, how do I get to this space? And he kept sending me links. BBC, mm. sends me CNBC. Because mm. I thought he was a fantastic journalist and I was mm. studying journalism in uni. Mm. So I was exploring my options. I didn't have my grounding yet. So he spoke to me with nothing. Like, I don't need anything from you. I'm just going to help you. Yes, George. And I have slowly just gotten friends like that. Mm. You know, mm. if we ever go out, you guys really, you know, you make sure I'm okay. Mm. If you have certain projects, you're like, Victor, we want you on board. It's, mm. Natural. it's because of, the, of my idea of giving. Mm. I am given. Yeah. Yeah. Been given for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> listen. Segue. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so uh, we've talked about your your work. Um, I want to touch on work life balance because yeah. Georgie being the optimal uh, example of this. I want to talk about like your attitude with 
enjoyment and work and how that's developed with now this new group of friends because we've had we have some amazing stories that we won't share on here yeah. uh, where uh. we've gone and enjoyed ourselves so how have you managed to strike that balance and what are principles you put in place to make sure your work life balance is uh, is okay I'll be honest I was never really good at it mm. I'm not 100% there mm. but I think it's much better mm. and this happened because because of the group of friends I have mm. How do we mm. enjoy ourselves into the night? Mm-hmm. At 6 a.m., someone is on Instagram live running. Mm. Yeah. And this guy. And filming content. Just mm. a second. Rotimi, I, know, I hope you know he's referring to you. Yes. Rotimi. Rotimi. Mm. This, that's Victor's Makes no Rotimi. sense. Then George wakes sense. up. Yeah. He says, I joined them for the run. Yeah. And I asked him, why? <laughs> What? <laughs> When? And he says, <coughs> we all have the 24 hours, same 24 he hours, buddy. He always says that. Oh, we all have yeah, the same 24 yeah. hours. So every time I'm sleeping in, yeah. and I know maybe, like today, mm. us guys went out oh, over the weekend. We, we, we had, um, last night, Lilith. But we've gotten things done today. Yeah. 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 God damn it. <laughs> in fact, I was even in between a shoot, between a shoot. Yeah. 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 And it's just that principle of it can be done. Yeah. Mm. And I hate to be the guy who says, no, no it cannot it be, be done, done. Yeah. when I have seen it being done. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I would wake up yeah. and just, like, I've gotten the balance because you have to tell yourself yeah. it can be done and it should and yeah. it will. Yeah. Shout, out, shout out to us, though. Like, yeah. like, I think you and I had that same epiphany at the oh. same time. The yeah, thing, I think thing. we should we should really have that conversation. <laughs> yeah, we mm. should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. So... Victor and I were working on a project. I think it was a Samsung project yeah. in February. Yeah. Um, and like we had, like that was the first time I think the whole WhatsApp group was together. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And one of the concerns was me and Victor were looking at each other like, we are both guys who are working in different spaces in the industry and we know that we can offer more and contribute more. But because we are not in certain places in that organizational hierarchy, mm. we can't contribute as much as we think yes. we want to. Mm. And so it was a question of, Of, I am having the best time ever mm. with people I genuinely respect and care about. Mm. And I and I feel like for me to enter that next level, mm. I need to emulate the things that I'm seeing around me. Yes. Mm. We we were on our laptops. Yeah. And I remember you submitted your project, which you were told was bad, and I submitted my project. I was also told it's bad. bad. Yeah. I said, the work I have put into this thing, yeah. you... Like in my head, I was like, you people have no idea mm. what I have refused to attend out yeah. there, outside yeah. my room yeah. for me to make this presentation. Yeah. Yeah. And I gave it my all. Mm. And after it was turned down, I planned my exit. And Oscar did the same. He said, mm. because we went, like you'd go out of your room yeah, and you'd see these guys, they all have that balance. They're doing things they love. Yeah, mm. Cliff... Rotimi are just full on fitness. Yeah. It's a lifestyle for them. It makes them money. Mm. Eli is, over Eli is there. creating content. Creators. I'm even filming for these people. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, they mm. have embodied who they yeah. are mm. and they're getting paid, paid for to be who they are. Me for me was, and I was it, like, was, it was too much. Like I remember me and Victor actually had that like epiphany at the same day. At the yes. same, and this was after Lake House. Mm. So we've gone to this beach, guys. This incredible... And we're giving Lictos free advertising. But like... I think they're great. Yeah, they're, they're great. So like, we're seeing guys jump in the water. We're doing backflips. Eli's doing backflips. Mm-hmm. And she's doing the shots. And I'm like, yo, dog. I'm looking around me. I'm like, we are having the time of our lives. It's niche. It's collected. Mm. I'm using like the thing I love to do to pay mm. for the opportunity. Mm. Victor is telling me, Oscar, do this, do that. I'm like, I'm looking around me. My guys are fit, mm. vibey, mm. funny. And like, I'm like, I can connect to these people. But mm. there's a level I can't connect to mm. them. Mm. There's a place me and Eli can connect to, with entrepreneurs to a place that I honestly have no idea about. Mm. Like he can come and talk to Rotimi about business. Yeah. Mm. And he does it. And you'll see it. It's very apparent in our episodes where Eli's contributions will always come from the perspective of I, I pick the people I work with. Mm. I manage people. Mm. I, I manage teams. Mm. I do the same. But I've always had that kind of yes there's some there, there's always been that ceiling mm. nothing for i've never really managed to express myself ideologically mm. simply because i've always worked within a certain structure mm. and i am i'm not averse to risk no that's mm. what yes it was safe it was mm. it was safe and until we decided it's not, not safe, safe then our life changed, changed. 
Uh, so and it changed yeah, at the same time. And it yeah, changed at the same time. Yeah. The moment the both of us sat down, and were like, nah, dog, this is unacceptable. Yeah. Mm. I, people thought I was crazy when I, yeah. when I was, uh, mm. uh, was leaving my, my previous job. Yeah. Mm. And I was also very scared. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But the risk was worth it. Yeah, dog, like... The risk was worth it. It was, but it was planned. That's all I'll say, man. Yeah, yeah, I've exited yeah. companies twice. <laughs> Both of them not planned. Mm. Oh, yeah. it was terrible. terrible. Yeah. But I planned, you know, mm. when you plan in your head and mm. you know yeah. for this yeah. time, yeah. then you'd be okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Calculated risks. Mm. I think, I think you like um, the story, there's a mm. side chat about the plan. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there yeah, yeah. There was yeah. a plan. Yeah, um, 100%, yeah. But it, it worked out yeah. in the end. Yeah. I'm very happy to have worked, to have worked mm. with, and with the mm. people that I've worked with and I love them all so much. But I just feel like there was an ideological change. And mm. I feel like it was the moment that Victor has said when it was no longer safe mm. to mm. stay within a certain framework. Mm. Mm. To the point that right now, um, right now as like I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing my postgraduate because I felt like I need that time to actually say I'm about to make a leap. And I'm st- I have made a leap, but I still need to make sure that the skills are, mm. Mm. you know, sharp. Mm. Like there are certain fundamentals that I know Mm. That will be important to drive even this podcast and whatever vision we have forward at a very fast and accelerated pace. Mm. And because I'm seeing so much excellence around me, you included, obviously, Victor. <coughs> I had to cough that. Choking because, from success. Uh, you know, we're suffering. <laughs> but like, just just like, Sky. just like. <laughs> Full throttle. <laughs> <laughs> my chest is full of pride. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, um, 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 yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, as, yeah, as, <coughs> yeah, as <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh. <laughs> be profound, be profound, uh, be profound, be profound, be profound. Be profound. Yeah. Just swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to move on. <laughs> but like, yeah, um, I'm just so happy to be with you, mm. my guy, mm. and I'm very proud of you. Oh, mm, man, yeah, thanks, man. we had that conversation. We had a very long conversation on phone. Yeah, and I think you know when you those two people in the group chat who yeah. are experiencing your own things, like yeah. <laughs> me and Oscar, were just like, "What is going on? People are living their lives. <laughs> People are living their dreams. What's going like, on? What is what? What What's do we have us? going wrong? What, what, what have we been thinking? Wrong? And you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We both went to national schools. <sighs> That's the thing. That for me, that was the golden thread. We know a system. We've always worked within, We've worked a system. within a system. So that we win. Like, and the moment that That's, we, yeah. that, mm. and, the, and if you look at it, like Eli went to school and he said at some point, he was like, yeah, this is, I've, I discovered entrepreneurship. I'm out. Cliff, same thing. Georgie worked within a system, but then even he got to the point we got to later on in his career and he got out. And then like this idea of working within a system, this, the, the breakthrough moment in the matrix for us was that thing where we we're like, we're in company, in the company of people who are doing great things mm. and writing their own story mm. and no one's asking any questions. And it sounds very idealistic, but like the truth about it is for you to get to a place in life where you can look at yourself and be proud of who you are, mm-hmm. you have to let, take that risk and make that leap. Yes. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. it's, it's, it's not easy. Yeah. But yeah, I've done it thrice. <laughs> third time is when the charm came. You know, I'm seeing, mm. I'm seeing that, I'm seeing that, I'm seeing that thing for first time. <laughs> you know that, that mm. meme. Mm. First time. Yes, <laughs> that was me, man. Yeah. Hey, because uh, the first, the first two times was, you know, I made mistakes, yeah. and and you know, you get shocked and yeah. you want that comfort back. Yeah. But what I'm very proud of yeah. is I didn't stop. Yeah. Resilience is something, yeah. and I'm also I, proud I, of I the really fact like. that like. Um, much like, much like in when we party, yes, you, you have placed yourself in this life uh-huh. mm. uh, with them, mm. um, with them, um, you know, with with water sometimes. Yeah, mm. because uh, water go on. <laughs> <laughs> that was a classic. Classic. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. So, Victor, mm. Mm. we're here to embarrass you a little bit as well, obviously. Oh, right? oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about how we've all gone on trips together. We've all had great memories. Mm. Uh, and there's also there's there's a factor of time and enjoyment, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've always seen you be able to get up and do something the next day, right? Regardless mm-hmm. of what you're doing the night before. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's uh, done. Uh, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Regardless. Yeah. So, what mm-hmm. are like some principles you apply when you're going out with your friends to make sure you're effective the next day? Because last night, I saw you at like what t- what time was it when we saw you? 
at like two, is it like two o'clock? Yeah. Two. And you were able to have that hard stop and say, nope. I'm going back at a certain time. But Eli, why are yeah. you able to have that same hard stop? So this is this is not about me. 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 It's important <laughs> that we know. Yeah, it's, it's. I got back just an hour after you, buddy. I got back an hour after you. I was distracted. So, uh, what are some principles you <laughs> apply mm. to make sure you're effective the next day? Because a lot of guys this holiday season, they're young guys, they're, yeah. they're groups of friends, everyone's got time off work, but you might still need to appear and do something the next day. Right, so, how, right. what, maybe from mistakes you've had, what principles you've applied so that you can still be effective? My, my biggest fear is losing what I have built. Mm. Mm. Because mm. for you to lose it, it's, it's faster than building. Mm, mm, mm. can tear down a building in a day. Yeah. That's why you yeah. build it for a year. Mm, Same mm, building. Mm. That's facts. You could build it up again, but uh, you have to now wait for another year. Same, you yeah. understand? So yeah. I I think yesterday I was like, I do want to go. And mm. my family also wanted to go. Mm. But I was like, if I do, I won't be able to deliver the projects that I need to deliver today. Mm-hmm. The next day. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, I thought about the person I had told I'm going to send the project. Mm. What will they feel? Mm. So it's all connected for me. Mm. I'm in the service industry. Mm. So if my clients don't feel like their needs are met and I'm not providing the service that they require, Mm. it becomes a problem. So do mistakes happen? Yes. Sometimes you could have an you know, immense workload, like now, Mm. uh, because it's the, you know, Mm. festive season, everyone's trying to do parties, wrap Mm. up, you know, their Mm. budgets, all the projects they're set to do in the year, they have all squeezed them in December. Mm. It's been a hectic few weeks. Mm. And I explain, because of this, Mm. it's going to take a bit longer. Mm. Mm. But we try, you know, when Mm. I say we, I mean visual masters, Mm. try and get that delivered. So for me, it's the fear. Yeah. Of tearing down in a day, yeah. what has taken me years to mm. build. So, what do you practically do when you're out? Like in terms of intake habits, drinking mm. habits, and things. How do you how do you do that? Because I think there's the balance where you can still go out, still have a little sip sip, but then still be effective. I mean, so, what are like the, the things? The mystery is yeah. that he does it, then comes out with incredible skin. So yeah, yeah. So there's there's like definitely that? something. Mm. What's your formula? What's like, your formula? Like, <laughs> like a two oh, to one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. Drink water regularly. Yeah. I drink a lot of water regularly, mm. but I know. Before the night begins, I know this. What kind of night this will be? How? So mm. I I mm. drink a bit more responsibly. Mm. Mm. Yeah, make sure I eat mm. before or after. Before, before before the drinks, after. and I pace myself <laughs> as I'm drinking. So you know, if you have your you know glass of whiskey, make mm-hmm. sure you have some water with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just balance them mm. out because mm. a bit of uh, something a bit of something mm-hmm. if you have too much of something it uh, mm. becomes problematic yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and uh, mm. but here's the thing victor me personally I'm, I'm i'm hurt i'm offended why i'm yet to taste your ugali i've heard that it's quite legendary before you night had, out i've tasted the ugali yeah yes. before the night out i've yeah. had victor's ugali apparently mm. is, is a thing of beauty ladies i ask <laughs> i'm letting you know <laughs> that uh, uh. before he goes out which is Around 7.30, I'm giving you inside tips now. What goes on in the WhatsApp group? Mm, 7.30 yeah. to 8.30, there's, there's something Victor warms up. Mm, <laughs> yeah. you see, you quietly, see. you'll just He's see. He's just going to see a quietly. <laughs> guy eating like an athlete. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's good to eat ugali before you go out. Mm. Yeah, have something heavy. Mm. Did you learn the hard way? Has there been like times where it didn't go right? Yes, 100%. And it's at that moment where you're out and you feel like, I can't anymore. Mm, mm, like mm. I even feel sick thinking about, you know, the mm. times I did not make sure I had some good foundational food mm, before mm. a night out. Because, hey, yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't eat. Mm. Came from a shoot mm. uh, straight into a night out. Yeah. And people start offering you shots. You start taking shots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You forget to eat. Yeah, yeah. And then you realize it's 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. And you start asking, is the kitchen open? <laughs> <laughs> and the kitchen is closed. Yeah. And you say, well. And back, you say, back, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. crazy. It happens, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Chef went home. Yeah. Oh, the chef is drunk as well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 
it's a Friday. <laughs> everyone's got lives yeah, to live. Yeah, everyone's got, got lives life to live. live. I'm like, yeah. Oh, you go to the like this other <laughs> event we went to. <laughs> so they just said we have potatoes. I said, cool, that's it. They said, yes, we have potatoes. Uh-huh. Five, <laughs> five potatoes. I said, five potatoes. Mm. And how much will those potatoes be sold <laughs> to you, good sir? Yes. Bro, I asked, how long will it take to make this potato? I said, with skin or without? <laughs> <laughs> Bring them as they are now. Yeah, yeah. yeah we just had potatoes. Mm. Uh-huh. And I realized I was not alone. I realized yeah. it. Yeah. I just came up with a plate and I had four other people. I was like, guys, so there were just five potato. potatoes. <laughs> so each person is having one potato because you didn't eat beforehand. Yeah. And now you're struggling to look for food. I hear you. So yeah, uh-huh. fa- mm. foundation. Uh-huh. Foundation. Have a nice water. girl. You better Those eat at potatoes have salt. That's mm. the question. Yeah, if they didn't, I would be insulted. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good season. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Spicy yeah, yeah. too, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's a good Oops. night, boys. It's mm. a good night. Yeah. Anyway, mm. um, one thing, Victor. Oh, what? This must be the one, please. Kindly. If you're on the podcast what is as well. Uh, yeah, yes, just yeah this is just a uh, yeah. yeah. water guante. Uh, uh, water guante. <laughs> I had another thing. Um, uh, drinking. Ah. And driving, simple, full stop. Mm. Not much to talk about. No, I never. You should not. And I'm really proud of us mm. when we went out mm. this weekend. Mm. Yeah, everyone mm. was using an Uber. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or Bolt. Yeah, or, 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 or sorry. any taxi every, service. Every, yes. Sorry, <laughs> or any I'm other not, taxi uh, service. Yeah, <laughs> or various taxi services, services that are available in. Space. Everyone was using a cab. Mm. Yeah. Yes, mm. and yeah. Yeah. very proud of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. we're responsible. I think it's good it's to very find. Very good to be responsible. Yeah, because I think the kind of group you choose, just as friends, translates into high risk situations. Because I find like, oh, there's, yeah, because high this risk situation, situation, yeah, it's mm-hmm. like the character translates there. Yeah. There's uh, there's one lovely lady that comes on all of our trips, Stacy, and I love when there's this person in the group. So a perfect example of the kind of people you should be going out with mm. is somebody that they can. She will force you to take the shots or whatever, but she'll make sure that you get back fine. Like she just yeah. has that aura. Even eating. Yeah, she even makes eating. Sure she makes sure you, you've eaten. Yeah. And she's that, she's very observant, even if she's, she just has that sort of, that sort of character. But then you can find yourself in scenarios where you have this group of people, they'll do the thing like, you know, take the shots, etc. But then they kind of just leave you yeah. Leave you hanging. That's a very good indicator, I find, in a high risk situation to find out what kind of friends you have. Yeah. Because then when you're kind of inhibited, your natural nature comes out. You're not checking yourself. Yeah. So you'll find that someone just leaves you after a while mm. or like they focus on girls or they just sort of ditch you. Then you have the other friend. <laughs> Stop laughing. No, I you remember other, yeah, it, Tusker Oktoberfest. Yes, yes, You yes. guys mm. literally left everything you were doing because CJ and Eli mm. and they came to look for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and that was occupied. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's, it's, it's I always think it's a good indicator. It like, is, how do your friends is. act when there's a lack of control? Because that's when the instinct kicks in. So, yeah, the driving thing, I think it's because we've got that kind of friendship group where everyone wants to kind of remain you, you, safe. At the end of the day, we want to see each other again. Home safe. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. In a sense, seeing that friend wake up and do that annoying thing uh-huh. Uh-huh. that they always do in the morning yeah. on social media. Yeah. For example, like, I think. For me, my check is usually like when I wake up in the morning and then I see yet another annoying get ready with me. <laughs> <laughs> yet another. I mean, there's 365 days in a week, 366 times. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm seeing a GR. I'm like, I'm seeing pads uh, being put. Uh-huh. I'm like, ah, he's home safe. Yeah. Or then, or then I turn to Victor's page and then I hear, you guys. Yeah. And then I'm like, yeah, wait, awesome. What, awesome. What, what, wait, what, what is mine, you guys? Yeah, usually, yeah, awesome, mammal, heavily, awesome, heavily, but That's awesome, heavily produced. You know, when Victor drops content, mm. it's heavily produced. Like, you oh look at goodness. you, like, this thing is so good. Like yeah. You're like, oh, man, okay, he's home safe. Mm. Or Georgie and whatever brands he's working in with. In a different country already. Yeah. 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 At 7 yeah. 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 Or that stupid little pouch. Manifesting. Manifesting. And then he's there. Or yeah, he's, I love it. You were with him one night before, and then he's in Dubai. Yeah. And like, that literally happened. Yeah. 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 It's, Madness. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Madness. I think everyone you will miss those things mm. from these people in your life mm. if you wake up one morning mm. and those things aren't there. Yeah. Like yeah. that post suddenly we all used to, or that WhatsApp mm. text form, um, someone who goes and says, I had such a good time, guys, and that's how you know they got home safe. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. I think it's key, especially like with the kind of month we're having and the kind of next few days coming up. Yeah. Like guys remember that check. Like enjoyment is always going to be there, but your friend might not. 
if mm. you don't make the hey. right decisions, you know? That's the fact. Yeah. Well, that's you're, you're that's like scary. Yeah, yeah, I like, yeah, I like, yeah, I like, yeah, I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's true, it's not going that's anywhere. Fact. Yeah, that yeah. thing, yeah, that thing where you're like, there's certain cues you have as a group and there's a dynamic that you have. Mm. And if you're able to look over each other, because look at look at how mm. how much we've inspired and sustained mm. and touched each other. Yeah. Imagine if one morning, yeah. how heartbreaking it would be. Mm. We all know each person's potential. Mm. Suddenly, that's it. Yeah. Just yeah. because you couldn't say, "Hey, my guy, mm. yeah, say, yeah, yo, 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 yo you're mm. driving, yeah, slow down, yeah, or drink like, yo, have you, where's eat. your drink? Yeah. Why is mm. your drink? You're in the club, we're with people here. Yeah. Where's your drink? I can't see it. Yeah, like okay, which yeah. class is yours? Yeah, you yeah. know, like yeah. those small things. You might wake up one morning and you might find that that person in your life who's been pouring so much into your cup is no longer there. Yeah. That would be so scary. Uh, to be honest, I would not. Yeah, I've been there. I it's think if uh, if anyone yeah. had forgotten, they should just remind themselves yeah, right. to take mm. care of each other. That WhatsApp know? group. Yeah. Defend the WhatsApp group. Yeah. 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 Very important. Perfect yeah. example, not to be morbid, but um, I've mentioned a few times, I lost yeah. my best friend, right? Yeah. Um, and it was because after a night out, he, <clears throat> so after a night out, um, he's come back from a party, but he left alone. And then because he was drunk, he ended up falling from a multi-story car park. And that's because he didn't have that group of friends. I was out of the, I lived really far away at that time. Yeah. He didn't have that group of friends to be able to say, bro, don't, don't walk home alone. Because if someone else was there, they would have been like, no, don't, like you fell. Yeah. So it's having that, that safety and that, that net of friends around you. Because if, if, if it steps out of that, then tragic, tragic things can happen. Yeah. So I try to remind myself from that worst case scenario to try and remain responsible as possible. Yeah. 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 And, and you know what uh, makes you, like something I have, Mm. that helps me make sure everyone is okay always say goodbye yeah before you leave a party that's so true always say oh goodbye. that's, that's a tip. so true yeah always say goodbye before you leave mm. a party that way you get to check on everyone you came with mm. and as you're saying goodbye you'll mm. see if they're doing okay or not mm. so which will that's determine whether you're staying with them yeah or making sure yeah. they get home safe but always say goodbye mm. Mm. yeah ladies and gentlemen I think it's time for the final question because mm-hmm. Victor Victor Minor should open a podcast. This man, honestly, he has, you have one. Yeah, you remember? You have one. It's yeah, really yeah. fun. It's so well produced. It's yeah, so yeah. fun. He just tells stories yeah. on the podcast. It's really good. It's out. No, I, I, I had a couple of episodes in. It's it never really continued. good. Yeah. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, like but, uh, we we'll revamp it. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're with the boys now. Yeah, I'd oh, love to see. You know what happens? Yeah, yeah, be nice. So, Victor, we usually ask our guests the final question. Um, what is that one piece of content? That book. That film, that movie that has poured into your life that you'd like to share with others? Whew. I get inspiration from so many places. This is, um, I think my inspiration comes from people that I relate to. Mm. The first person happens to be Bob Marley. Mm. Oh, that's sure. Yeah. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's <coughs> because sense. of how he viewed life. And he, his whole thing is understanding value mm. of human beings, mm-hmm. value of life, mm-hmm. value of what music could do. So, Bob Marley for me. Mm. Second person is Barack. And when it comes to entrepreneurship, it has to be Jay Z. Mm. That's a str- that's a dinner party. That's a yeah. that's a dinner yeah, yeah. party. That's, 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 that's a, a what's dinner up. party. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So if you know, if I had a chance to have all these men in one room, mm. Mm. I don't think I'd ever my life would ever be the same. 100%. Yeah, but it's bits and pieces mm. on on their journey, mm. but mostly. For for Bob Marley and Barack is because of my background and my relationship with my father. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. And and yeah. and how there's consistency in there's a certain struggle with mm. with men not being able to collect uh, to connect you know really closely with their children. And I grew up with a, with an amazing dad, mm. Um, mm. who met my mom later on after I was born. Mm. And yeah, he took me in and amazing. Yeah, so but uh, I feel like there's always that gap of you know knowing who you are that people struggle with, especially you know 
if you don't have a close relationship with your with your dad and and i think man talk gives a very good platform for men to be expressive because there's so many unsaid things that could be said mm. Mm. that need to be said mm. Mm. from men mm. Mm. and you've said some of them today man you really have said some of them today because you're normally a bs guy but i'm so surprised at the depth that you've offered but i kind of I, from one or two conversations i saw it but it's not been like an hour worth of like victor knowledge yeah, victor, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's I a more a subcaption what did you call it victor knowledge that is victor yeah. knowledge yeah. <laughs> yeah there we go there we go yeah, yeah, from the visual master himself buddy thank you man thank, thank you, you for, for making the time me. you're literally in between a shoot right now like you're waiting for somebody yes, uh, to finish their makeup so you can go back and carry on producing yes, so um, yeah your time is I'm actually in the in the shoot all oh, right just yeah, virtually yeah, 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 yeah no i am yeah it's happening but uh, right now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i guess we'll, we'll let you go then buddy yeah, uh, yeah. No, thank you very much uh, uh, thanks for coming man uh, more could have been said uh, always yeah. a good time to, always. to you know, yeah we need to have you back but we'll do it some, i'm very happy. very mm. i'll give you a flowers man i am mm. a big fan of man talk oh, this bro. is very Yeah. Nice of me to be here. Yeah, I love yeah. your content. Oh, yeah. bro! And I, I think, are you, are you, are you doing, this guy is full of crap. Are you, are you, are you, are you being honest or because you're doing the crappy face? I'm, like, I'm being very honest yeah, uh, because sweet. I don't know how, you know, not to make you blush. You know, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you are a uh, bastard. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's so, it's so like you're getting red over here. <laughs> It's like yeah, he's feeling the boys. Yeah, like, he's listen, feeling, he's listen, listen, listen. First of all, <laughs> Santa Claus from Kitui. <laughs> Maintain yourself. You, you blush we, from we, here. We need to go. We are Oscar to go. blushes from Goodbye. here, from the top of his head. Goodbye. He doesn't need a Christmas hat. He's just bye red bye here. Bye 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 bye. bye, 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 bye. Yeah. We've been my dog, love, and it's love, nice love, to be love, with love, us. Love, Have a merry Christmas. Stay safe. Merry Christmas. Stay safe. Bye bye.